Hey guys, we have uh, two topics for you today. The first topic is that we will be going over the current normalized flux graph of Tabby Star for today, July 9th, and we'll do this by showing you a current graph provided by Dr. Tabitha Boyajian. Our second topic is that we will also show you some metrics that we will be keeping track of so that we can accurately assess the accelerating long-term dimming of Tabby Star. This channel will be maintaining a database of averaged AAVSO measurements across multiple observers over an extended period of time to do this. So this is the normalized flux graph of Tabby Star provided by Dr. Tabitha Boyajian. We slightly modified it for easier viewing. What's circled in red is the current flux level of Tabby Star. It looks like the flux levels have sneaked down a little bit more, and we are now down to approximately 0.75% below nominal flux levels. This may not seem like a lot when viewing this graph, but as a rule of thumb, a Jupiter-sized planet would block approximately 1% of a star's light. Whatever has brought us down to uh, these current levels is equivalent to about 75% of the light blocking effectiveness of a Jupiter sized planet. So we will continue to watch and report this. For our last topic, this shows a spreadsheet that we will be maintaining of the measurements of the visual magnitude of Tabby star from several AAVSO observers over an extended period of time. So we just started this at the beginning of this month. And the reason that we did this is that when you see a normalized graph like you just saw, the normalized flux level is really a renormalized level adjusted to the new normal. In other words, as Tabby Star continues to go through its long-term dimming, everyone is renormalizing their full 100% flux levels and losing the historic long-term flux levels as Tabby Star dims. Even though it's not as dramatic as the large dips, the long-term dimming acceleration is probably more significant. Today's normalized 100% full flux is really significantly below what it was just a few years ago. So to keep you up to date on the accelerated long-term dimming, we will maintain this data and hopefully be able to measure and predict the increasing slope of the acceleration of the long-term dimming. We think that this will be really interesting and probably significant as well. Well, that's all we have for you this uh, today. Uh, we'll see you uh, in our next video. Take care, guys.